Welcome to the Prepared Homestead. This is Travis. Thank you all for stopping by to watch. Yes, I did not upload a video last night. It's all this guy's fault. <laughs> yeah, some good friends of ours came and staying with us for the weekend. So uh, had some friends and family time and that's why I didn't, didn't make a video last night. But I'm sure you'll all understand that. Anyways, I was uh, kind of a last minute reminder um, that the meeting for those of you that are local is this weekend. Don't forget, uh, if you've come before, it's the same same time, same place. If you want details on it because you've never been, shoot me an email and myself or my wife will get back with you. Along with that, <clears throat> just been a lot of conversations. This, this week has been kind of interesting in the sense I mean obviously our friends are here and you know my buddy you know we you know how we talk about things that can't even talk about on YouTube but it's interesting because all this week everyone I've been talking to face to face around me here locally different places I've gone it's like the the conversation somehow leads into you know the doo-doo's about to hit the fan you know we need to get ready we need to to, to have a plan as a group, uh, all that kind of stuff. And I think people are starting to really more and more, not necessarily wake up because most of these people are, are people that's already been awake. They already knew, know what's going on. They just haven't really been getting as ready as they should. And I think they've realized that, oh man, I, I, I need to hurry it up. I've received, I don't know how many emails this week from people basically the same kind of thing that, you know, I don't know what a mag is, but I know we need to start form one. How do I do it? How do I meet other people? It's really important. Things are getting, getting serious. You know, I'm feeling a lot of pressure. And I think it's because as many of us have seen and as we talk about on this channel all the time it's starting to get pretty serious out there and heating up and it, you know it gets to the point that i feel feel like a broken record you know how many times to say over and over again what to do and how to take care of your family and get ready i do believe though that having that connection with each other that that you would many call the mutual assistance that tribe that family that community is is going to be so much more essential than i think what most of us believe and realize and you can put whatever tag title name on it you can make it really structured or not but in the end it's just just people coming together and helping each other and being there for each other things that humans have been doing for well since they got out of the garden and really only in recent modern times has that changed um, even going back 50 to 100 years ago you know you didn't have mutual assistance groups it just that's just how everything was you know everyone just helped each other and it's funny because it's become such a strange concept for people uh, even though it's pretty much always been that way <clears throat> and i feel i know i've kind of gone back and forth this week because i the other day i talked about how you need to be careful of the sharks, the people that have taken advantage of you. But you don't wanna just give up on building that connection, that community, making plans, figuring out what you're gonna do as a group. How are you gonna communicate? How are you gonna help each other out? You have fallback positions, you have rendezvous points, all that kind of stuff. I don't want you to not do that because of the risk of, you know, the wrong person infiltrating your group gotta be careful you know don't just open yourself up and 
you know, let people join or know about where you're at and stuff. Be very private about it. There's very few people on this planet, I've said this before, that, you know, know where we live and know what we have. And it should be that way for all of you. I mean, it's okay for people to know where you're at and stuff, but don't broadcast your plans and what you have. And even when you're in a, a mutual assistance group, a tribe or whatever, be cautious of that too. Um, this is the kind of stuff you need to be doing though, because <clears throat> one of the things that I see with how the, the, the they, the, the, the men behind the curtain are doing, the government, they like to pick us off at, you know, one at a time. They're not, they're not waging a full frontal assault on patriots and people like us. They're picking us off one at a time. And they know, and the reason why they do that is because there's, there's weakness in the small numbers. <clears throat> and that's another reason why we need to stick together and build community and build that connection that we're there for each other and have conversations. Conversations like my buddy and I here have, I'm not gonna tell you what they are, but I think you can figure it out. On, you know, what are we gonna do if this happens? How are we gonna react if that happens? What's our plans if this happens? And and don't just, whew, horse fly hit me right in the face. Uh, actual, have real plans. And then, you know, at some point, put those plans into action by doing some training. <clears throat> this is, simply what you know a community does spend time together build a relationship build trust because that's essential you don't want to be in a foxhole with someone that you don't trust uh, you want to make sure this is someone that you trust make sure the families work together um, I've heard people tell me that you know they they're part of some kind of little little prepper group and it's all the guys that meet and then, after, you know, they decided to have a big family get together. So all the families show up and all the guys got along great. All the wives and kids came in and they didn't get along at all. Everyone fought and didn't like each other. Well, it's going to be kind of hard to write out the end of the world when none of the families get along. So think of these things. <clears throat> There's important stuff and it's not all about, you know, learning how to shoot a rifle. I mean, you can teach anyone that. You need to make sure that everyone can get along and trust each other and has their heads all in the same space. Because we're watching, we're watching things fall apart all around us every day. I mean, it's, it's been nice since my buddy showed up. I haven't looked at my phone, I don't know, maybe once. So who knows? The world could have already fallen apart and burned to the ground in the last 24 hours. But the fact is, is that stuff's happening all the time. And we have to take matters pretty serious. And that's what a lot of you are doing. That's why my, my inbox is just exploding over the last few weeks. Um, I think people are starting to really get it, that it's, it's getting close to crunch time. And it's time to take what we say, our, our mouths, and put them into action and, and not just our preps, but building the community relations with each other because I really truly believe the stuff that they're doing, that's gonna matter more than just about anything, um, having that connection with each other. Folks, it's serious. It's nothing to be afraid of because we know who's gonna win this battle and how it all ends, but we still need to be ready. So folks, get your houses in order. Prepare yourselves mentally, physically, and of course spiritually because if you're not preparing spiritually, you already lost the battle. You lost the war. Uh, there's nothing more important than that. Thank you all for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.